What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE action figure setup and you guys know what time it is. It is the month of October so you already know we're coming back with Horror Edition. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are finally back with a brand new horror action figure setup. If you guys have never seen one of these before, very popular series on the channel. Tons of videos on the channel with horror action figures and this October will be no different, man. Trying to roll them out as often as possible for the month of October. And we're almost already halfway through October so I gotta get going on some more horror action figure content. But today we're back with our first setup. I have plenty of other setups in my mind. We're probably gonna take it back to the kitchen. I got some great ideas in my mind that I can't wait to execute here but we're gonna get into it man as you guys can see the backstage area is full we're gonna run it over here into the office and then we will take us all the way through the horror action figure setup some pretty cool guys featured some new people featured let's get into it all right guys so if we go in the GM's office right here you guys will see there's a door right there and it goes into the GM's office and this right here is just Cameron Grimes you know uh, looks like he's being arrested here but he's got Jason Voorhees right here we have Jason Voorhees I wanted to do something cool with the bookshelf but I guess that we'll have to wait until the next setup so get this video to a thousand likes and we'll do the bookshelf spot i got a bookshelf spot that i want to do but we'll have to wait until next time but jason Voorhees, he's got he's got grimes pinned down there everybody in this setup today i'm pretty sure is yelling so yeah cameron grimes no different he's yelling he's kind of kind of happy about it i don't know what i'm what i'm seeing here but you guys get the point point. we come outside the office and we roll over here now i didn't have anything for annabelle maybe she'll get loose next setup but for this setup she is present at least she's present she's got her box right there. Who knows what could go down when you're dealing with Annabelle, so I do have Annabelle locked up. She may be competing in the MDT Tournament of the Damned. We'll have to wait and see, but there's Annabelle locked up in her box. If we come forward right here, you guys will notice that we have John Moxley, and he is a bloody mess. He's got blood on his face, his arms, everywhere, all over him, and you guys will also notice that we also have Kenny Omega over here, who's also a bloody soaked mess. Both of, both of them are a bloody soaked mess. They're beat to hell, and over on this side, we do have Pinhead, who is also a bloody mess. So, Pinhead and Kenny and Moxley must have just been going at it, you know? They must have been going at it because they are all a bloody soaked mess. I don't think Omega and Moxley can, can hold on for much longer, but for now, they are surviving, and Pinhead's putting up a good fight, and they're both, all three of them are a bloody mess, so, so we got that going on in the setup. This part of the setup has to be my favorite, man. It's gotta be the best part of the setup right here. You guys know that we go all out on our setups, and no different right here. I did completely ruin an Elite 91 figure for this thing, so I did dream a hole into the torso of Hulk Hogan right here to get this look and I think it turned out fantastic I think it was brought to life the Jason figure looks great got the part seven with the machete right through the stomach or lower sternum area right there for Hulk Hogan blood coming out of the mouth into the stomach all over the machete leave a like on the video just to pay respects to the elite Hulk Hogan figure that I had to sacrifice for this video but really nice stance right there I thought this was good and you, you know you got to get into the spirit so we go all out for the horror setup so we had to you know we had to get it done here for Hulk Hogan in the setup. So Jason's looking good. Favorite iteration of Jason Voorhees there in the part seven and that figure is outstanding and I, yeah, it looks really, really clean right here. If we come forward just a little bit, guys, you guys will see Freddy Krueger and Freddy Krueger is attacking Matt Hardy but Matt Hardy is not worried about Freddy Krueger. I guess he's kind of, he's got two things going on at once because he's worried about Freddy but he's also worried about his brother, Jeff Hardy, who's hanging from the rafters right here. So this is something that actually my wife came up with. You got the nun. The nun, I'm pretty sure this is her first time being featured featured in the WWE or horror action figure setups here on the MDT YouTube channel and she said that you know she could possess Jeff Hardy right there or you know use other means to to hang him up right there or have somebody levitating and I was gonna have him you know being possessed being levitated but there was no way to do that so I had the chain right here kind of wrapped around the lights hoisting Jeff Hardy up in the air and that's what we got going on but however this is Valak's first shot in the MDT horror action figure setups and that figure's pretty sweet it can't stand worth a damn but it's a pretty cool figure and we do have her represented right there and we come forward a little bit this one's funny right here i took the crooked man who looks hilarious getting speared right here but i took him he's getting speared by roman reigns over here you know the, the, tri the tribal chief's not gonna get taken care of at least not in this setup maybe in a future setup they'll get him wasn't getting him here man crooked man got absolutely ex just destroyed and at the end of the setup there's always some like action sequences in our setups we're gonna put crooked man through the table right here set up by roman reigns and we'll do some cool commentary 
Fury with it, and we'll have him go through the table, and it'll be a good time. Even his hat fell off. I mean, I mean he got he got speared the shit out of. So we'll have to make that come to fruition here at the end. But I do believe this is also Crooked Man's first time in a setup, off the top of the dome at least. If you come back here, guys, we do have Lance Archer strapped to a stretcher, and Leatherface is about to go to town with a chainsaw. Did not turn it on just yet. You know, maybe uh, Lance Archer's time will come, but for now he is safe. Except uh, now, any moment now he will not be safe. But he is strapped down to the hospital bed, getting taken care of right there, and he's you know he's not too happy about it. Ever again, I think everybody is yelling in this setup outside, maybe one or two people. If we come right here to the middle, we do have the remake 2009 Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th, and Sammy Guevara is yelling in agony because he knows what's coming next for him. But just a simple usage of the Sammy Guevara head sculpt right here, man, really brings the setups to life and captures it for figure photography and stuff like that. So any figure screaming is going to get it done here in the setup. If we come to the middle right here, you guys will notice that we typically have a few people running around, but there was not a lot of room here. I wanted more action today, so Seth Rollins is running around in the middle of the setup, and I'm going to be honest with you, Brad, I don't know where the hell he's going to go, because there's not much room here, right? There's not much room no matter where he goes, unless, I mean, he may can cut through the lane right there and get by the crooked man in Roman Reigns, but who knows if he'll make it to the next setup. You guys know that that Seth Rollins figure right there is usually a high contributor to the setups, but he made it through today, so you know, you got to tip the cap sometimes. If we go just beyond that, I'm going to have to move this Voorhees because I think this is a really sweet part right here. I think we did this way back when, maybe in our first setup ever, or maybe it was one of our first setups. We have the Macho Man, the brand new one, the one that I reviewed. I don't know when I'm posting this. It was either today or yesterday. It is the WrestleMania Elite Macho Man, and he is getting his tongue pulled out and possibly cut out by Chucky. So he's gripping his tongue right there, about to cut it out, and so uh, I wanted to execute that. He's actually handcuffed underneath there, and he's strapped down. So not looking good for Macho Man too well today. Crooked Man fell over. Hate to see it. But yeah, Macho Man getting taken out by Chucky right there. If we maneuver through here, the reason I love this is because it looks like Ghost Face. You know, he's making that kind of like screaming face. And so since he's making that screaming face, I thought it would look hilarious in an F5. And I think uh, I think I was accurate in that in that guesstimate because th this is hilarious, man. Brock Lesnar looking hilarious. He's loading him up for an F5. Ghost Face has got a weapon in hand, but it didn't do any good against the Beast Incarnate. So Ghost Face is upset because he's getting f 5 by Brock Lesnar, but I thought that was pretty funny. We come forward right here. Nice little tag team match going on. You have Doink the Clown and The Fiend going two-on-two -two with the two versions of Pennywise. Now, I have better ideas for this moving forward, and I can't wait to get into it, so please like the video so we can get the next setup going. I have an idea for this mallet that we'll have to get into, but Pennywise and Pennywise going at it with The Fiend and Doink the Clown. Pretty cool right here. I'd actually pay I'd pay to see that match, so that would be fun to see. You know, The Fiend's not necessarily a clown, but, you know, it still fits. You know, white face paint. All of them got face paint and masks and stuff going on. I know the other, the, you know, The Fiend's is a mask, but you, you get the point. I mean, they, they look like they all belong in a circus, so it gets the job done. And then I think this is our final spot of the setup. We have Michael Myers coming over the top onto Chuck Taylor. Nice little pose there for Chuck Taylor. About to get stabbed by Michael Myers. You gotta have all the horror icons represented here. We have plenty of figures that we want to include but uh, we, we were kind of short on space today. The next setup will be 10 times better and bigger so look out for that man. But leave a like on the video I'd greatly appreciate it. But we finish up our setup here with Michael Myers getting the best of Chuck Taylor and he's going after him right there man. I think this is one of the first setups we've had a lot of AEW action figures featured as well, but we will have more and more wrestling action figures. There's plenty of screaming figures going to really bring the setups to life. We have more ideas in the head, so leave a like and comment some things you'd like to see in the setups, and maybe we could bring them to fruition in the next setup and the next video and the next horror setup and things of that nature, man, but I had a ton of fun with the setup. I've kind of knocked it over now because I had to finagle through there, but we do have plenty more coming, plenty of horror action figure videos, plenty of setups, plenty of matches and stuff for the month of October, man, so definitely leave a like on the video. Comment down below what you'd like to see. I think this is my favorite part of the setup right here today. It's got to be the Hogan rank right here, man. The most effort went into that, and I think that it came across money, but that is going to wrap up the setup, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on the setup down in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a happy Halloween. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, Crooked Man went after Roman Reigns. Big mistake, Brad. Oh, Roman Reigns loading up Crooked Man. Spear through the table, Roman Reigns on a Crooked Man. Brad.